I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. The 50 light gang strikes again. You guys killed the like button on the last video. The first trial was so freaking good. I couldn't believe what just happened. If that was just an appetizer of what this game has in store, then I am so excited to get through the rest of it. 50,000 likes and I'll drop the next video as soon as I can. But no more talking. We're just going to jump right into it. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up because here we go. So now we're playing as Puichi and he's visiting Kaede's ultimate research lab which is the piano place and it says da, da, da. did i say piano place i mean the musical place i don't know what this is called the music room it's not as if there would be any memories here but these are the things she was really passionate about and that's good enough for now that's not really good enough it's kind of sad what a magnificent piano i would have liked to hear her play it if only just once ah that reminds me the song that kaede was talking about of course it must be here somewhere I stood in front of the shelves of CDs and searched each one thoroughly, end to end. It should be here somewhere. Where is it? Da, da, da. Oh. Oh. Here it is. This is it. Debussy, I took the CD from the shelf and placed it in the player in the corner. Soon, a soft melody had filled the classroom. Debussy sounds perverted. Like, damn, that girl got a Debussy, dude. She got a little Debussy on her. Yo, my guy, Suichi got anti-ass. My body relaxed, totally enveloped in the music. Not that I'm looking at ass. I'm just saying that thing looks sucked in. Like me when I got my shirt off trying to go to a pool. It was a strange feeling. The sound seeping into my body. Da -da -da. Before long, I began to close my eyes. I'm ruining a perfectly good moment. I wish there was a piano here. I would play you a song to help you cheer up. It's all sad and the music sounds so good. It makes a grown man want to cry. I'm over here talking about anti-ass. Like, what the hell's wrong with me, hmm, man? A pretty song to play for you. Oh, like Claire de Lune by Debussy. Oh, Debussy. I thought it was it's Debussy. a soothing song that calms your heart. Like the moon's reflection on water. Yeah. <laughs> you noticed, huh? Yeah. I'm shaking too. That's called love. But I'd Young be love. a mess if you weren't here. I wouldn't have been able to do anything. I would have been so lost. I'm glad you're here with me, Shuichi. This song kind of goes, with though. With you by my side, I feel like I can stand up to anything. You give me the courage I need to take on the mastermind. And that's why she's dead. So please, be more confident. Because she ended up killing the ultimate who gives a crap. Bro, this song makes I me want to cry, you, though. So you should definitely believe in yourself. I'm about to do this so I could cry. Oh, yeah, I'll try. <laughs> I don't know if I can do it. My eyes it, were dry, though. I really needed the eye drops. No, I'll do it. Yeah, I'll do it in my other I eye. have to believe in myself. Yeah, you have to believe in yourself, Puichi. I won't be afraid anymore. I believe in you. I will face the truth for everyone. Yeah, for I everyone. I won't give up for your sake, Kaede. Oh, I had, like, the, the eye drop thing in my eye, and then it said, for fuck's sake, Kaede. That's what I thought I it said. I promise. <laughs> for fuck's From sake, From the bottom man. of my heart. I promise you, Kaede. This is a sweet moment, though, and I'm ruining it. I am so sorry. Oh, there she is. Yep. Hey, I That's didn't ruin it. promise. I'm leaving everything up to you, Shuichi. Goodbye. Wait, you just got here. What you mean, goodbye? Saying goodbye didn't even say hello. Kaede, see, that's why you got executed, because you're so freaking rude. Over here playing your Debussy, acting like shit's sweet around here. My class trial. Our class trial. No, that wasn't my class trial. That was their class trial. I would have handled things differently. Like, I would have claimed the first blood perk, and I would have been like, yeah, I killed him. What you guys gonna do about it? I got immunity, bitches. Like, come on, stop playing with me. I am not Kaede. I'm built different. I'm built all jacked up. I got three legs. Obtain present. Musical note or hairpin. Hey, do you want to save? I'm playing. I don't got three legs. I'm more capped than the top of Shuichi's head. Like, let's be real here. Nobody got three legs. If anything, I got one leg. They were so young and talented. How could this happen? It looked like an accident. They were running away from that group. It was it really just an accident, though? I honestly can't believe that. I Who's can't talking that bullshit? Loudly, but they were probably killed by that group. I thought so. Oh, no. Well, there's nothing we can do about that. I wanted them to live. For our sake, at least. Jeez. I wish they lived. No. They should have lived. They had to. For this world. Is this the future and that's Makoto, Kyoko, and Biakuya talking? Like they're all old and shit? Like Biakuya and Makoto got old gray balls? 
A thin line divides something. I wasn't even paying attention. Not that I'm like not paying attention, but I was talking about old balls. Where are you hiding? Come out. No more hiding. Come out now. Yeah, come out now. Stop hiding there. Hey, Gonta! Hey! Hey, come out, Bugs. Where are you all hiding? Just when Gonta think he finds some, they gone. Weird. Really weird. Plenty trees, grass, water, sun, but no bugs. Why? Weird. So weird. Hey, bugs! If any bugs here come out, Gonta wanna talk to you. Huh? Hmm? What that? Something on ground. In grass. Words written on it? Gonta no read. Gonta not know how. Horse, eh? Sounds like a country person saying, hey, horse, eh? Ding dong, bing bong? Dot, dot, dot. Oh, ding dong, but no bing bong. I'm coming. Damn, I hate when people do that. I just want to slap them across the Ugh. face. Ha! Ah. I'm coming! Damn! <laughs> Who is it? Wait, I'm coming, I'm coming! With the doorbell hurrying me along, I went to open the door. Who is it? Oh, you. The guy who Hi. bitch slapped me before. Hey, what are you doing? It's already morning. Huh? Kaito? What do you want? Uh, um, uh do you need something? Come on, Well, man. yeah, food. Jeez. I was gonna eat breakfast with everyone in the dining hall, but you weren't there. And I missed you, bud. That's why I came to get you. Huh? Huh? But I don't recall making any plans. I mean... You should be at the dining hall anyway. I mean, where else are you gonna eat breakfast? Hey! I don't usually eat breakfast, so... Huh? Are you serious? If you don't have breakfast, then what do you eat in the morning? Huh? Yes! Alright! Ah, uh, whatever! Let's get going! The others are waiting! Ah! Uh. Oh, wait! I'm not ready! Let me get my... Actually, never mind. I don't need that anymore. Okay. Okay, let's go. Ah! Oh, right! I was gonna tell you! My bad. I'm sorry about yesterday. You know, for slugging you like that. Huh? Huh? Oh, that's... <laughs> it's okay. I see. I see. Then let's go. Wait, is he talking about his hat? My guy just want to let the boss bot shine? He said I gotta let the boss bot get some vitamin D because it's a bright sunny day, you know what he's saying? Anyway, enough talking out of my butt cheeks. Let's go into the dining hall where apparently every single group in Danganronpa loves to meet for some reason. Because what better way to talk about killing each other than over some food, right? Writing. Honest. Yeah, like someone tried to hide writing in grass. Weird, right? Uh... Hmm, a Tua says it's just graffiti. Yeah! <laughs> now we don't gotta worry about it anymore. Oh, a Tua? That's even more suspicious. My, my. Oh, are you saying a Tua is sus? How sad. Cut it out. That's none of your business. Jeez. What's up with you guys? Are you still talking about that graffiti? You know. Whatever. I brought Puichi, so let's start breakfast already. I quickly realized that everyone was staring at me. Uh, ah. Yeah? yeah? As I expected, they were looking at me with surprise on their faces. Oh, it's because he doesn't have the hat? Good morning. What? Uh, show, show the back of the head! Good morning. Show me the back of the head right now, Puichi! Oh, Shuichi. Um. You finally got rid of that emo hat! Emo hat. Is this cause Kaede died or whatever? It's symbolic. He's no longer a capper. That's Quiet, what you male! All truth. Learn some manners, why don't you? Oh, huh. You're not wearing your hat. I didn't even notice. No, well, nobody asked you, Kaito. And you can stand to learn some manners too, you insensitive jerk! What, is it because he has that one cow lick on the side? No. Come on, I got cow licks all day. felt like it was getting in the way, is all. I got cow licks from my cow licks. Like the back of my head right here. It always stands up. It's so stubborn. Uh, it's like a little um, curly piggly swirl. You don't have to stare. I just took off my hat. It's not a big deal. You're the one who made it a big deal. You're all right. My apologies. I... I like it. I think you look more handsome with your hat off. Thank you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> How nice for you. Unlike plain Jane over here, who turns invisible as soon as her glasses come off. Um, I am plain, but it's the other way around. Taking off my glasses reveals my true form. <laughs> Didn't you know? Those who see my true form pay a terrible price. Listen up. Anyway, don't be late anymore, Shuichi. We already decided we're eating breakfast together. This is stupid. You decided that on your own. Yes, of course. Yes, yes. I prepared breakfast for everyone. Huh? Really? You did? That is correct. Indeed. It was no trouble at all. I have prepared an Italian omelet, buttermilk pancakes, smoked salmon galette, 
And for those who prefer Japanese cuisine, I prepared rice balls and miso soup. Hey! Kurumi, be my mom! Mm. Gonto wants you to be his mom too! Hmm. What are you two even saying? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I'll show you guys something really neat! Look, look! When Himiko eats, she makes the cutest face! Aww, she's like a small animal! Stop it. Stop it. You're making it hard for me to eat. I don't want to see that face. Come on, don't show me that face. Oh, thank God. We chatted casually as we began eating the food Kurumi brought out. Amazing! Gone to not me to flatter, but all oh, this food's so yummy! Excellent. Uh -huh. It's so delicious. It makes me want to cut off my tongue. Mm -hmm. This dude gets freaky. Mm-hmm. The rice balls aren't just ordinary old rice balls either. The outside is packed tightly, so it won't fall apart, but the inside is nice and soft! And because the rice wasn't crushed, you can taste every sweet sticky grain, even when it's cold! Jeez! Hey, do you have some sort of god tongue or something? May I? By not crushing the rice, air is able to flow between each individual grain. The triangle shape itself is less important than maintaining a loose grip as you form the shape. You will find it much easier if you imagine yourself gripping it with your entire body. Eh, I can't make rice balls. I can't even tell the difference between rice and termites. Hey. Ew. How have you survived this long? Oh? Huh? What's wrong, key boy? You're not eating. Oh, I oh, see. Oh, yeah. I totally forgot you can't eat, you know, because you're a robot. Hey. Hey, now. Don't look so down. I'll bring you a broken TV later. Oh, this wow. guy's a freaking funny guy, huh? I don't want that. I'm not a waste receptacle. Yeah. <laughs> Kibo and Kukichi seem to be getting along swimmingly. Da, da, da. We were having a normal conversation, as if nothing had happened. But we all knew it wasn't really normal. It was forced conversation. Yeah, we all saw what happened to Kaede. That shit was brutal. But that's to be expected. That incident just happened yesterday, after all. Everyone's forcing themselves. That's why. You know, if you force yourself like that, yeah. That was brutal. That was some savage shit. This kind of forced normalcy is just making us remember what happened. That was one of like the craziest executions I've ever seen in my damn life. Hmm. What's the matter, Suichi? If you're not gonna eat this, I'll just help myself. Ah. Oh, oh, sorry. Hey, I was gonna eat that. I pushed those unnecessary thoughts out of my head and shoveled food in my mouth. By the way. By the way. That thing Gonta talked about earlier. Are we gonna go check it out? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Quit fussing over some lousy graffiti and worry about your shitty future instead. Huh? Huh? Graffiti? Um... Oh, Gonta find it this morning. Hey! On concrete, hidden in grass. Words, horse written there. Hmm. Huh? What do you think it means? Well... Its meaning is entirely shrouded in mystery. Not even the ultimate anthropologist knows. I thought it was some anthropology thing. Yo! Well, how about it, Shuichi? Let's hear the ultimate detective's opinion. Huh? Huh? Uh... I don't know. I don't know either. But, but... Gonta, I'm surprised you were able to find that graffiti hidden in the grass. Feeling Do divine? you channel the divine too? No. Oh, that cause of tiny bugs. Hmm? Bugs? I thought vermin were nowhere to be seen in this academy. Um... Yeah, gone to think that before, but... But... When out walking in courtyard, gone to think he see tiny bug. Mm. But bug so tiny, even gone to know could see it. And gone to have 20... 0 0.625 eyesight, what in the holy folk? So maybe gone to just make mistake? But gone to think... Maybe... No, maybe gone to just see things. Degenerate male! Just make up your mind already, you degenerate! Which means... So you found that message while you were out chasing some bug? Oh. Wow, Gonta! You did it! I knew I could rely on you since the moment we met! Huh? What? Really? It's true! Yep, so you should work for me! Got it! Okay! What? What? You're just gonna agree to it just like that? Hey! Be careful, Gonta! That guy's a real liar! Huh? What? Really? Haha, <laughs> no way! Thank goodness! Good. Then Gonta have no reason to worry! Huh? Will you believe just anyone? <laughs> <laughs> Gonta, you're so gullible! You know, if you keep being this gullible... You'll be killed before you know it! Understand? Ah! Ah! The moment Kokichi said that word, the warm and casual mood shattered. 
What's the matter? What's wrong, everyone? Is there a problem with Kokichi's advice? <sighs> oh, Kokichi! You know she'd say thing like that, even as joke. Hmm? Huh? Say what? Kill? Has the K word been banned? <sighs> Sorry, I didn't know. <laughs> but that's not very reasonable, is it? Not when the killing game is still happening. <laughs> How can you be so insensitive? Especially after what happened yesterday. I'm this is why I hate degenerate males. They're about as considerate as amoebas. Did I just say amoebas? Oh my god, it's amoebas, bro. Like, I need a sip. I need a sip. I said amoebas, bro. <laughs> <laughs> don't complain if some scary guy yells, what color is your blood at you? You really It's that kind of care. talk that lets Monokuma play you all like fiddles. Huh? What? Oh? Oh, did you hear that? Don't mind me. I was just talking to myself. Hello! Looks like you guys are having a good time. Let me join in. Yeah. Yeah! They're having a jolly good time ganging up on me. What? Isn't that your fault? Huh? Huh? Ganging up? Hey! No bullying! Bullying is not cool. Bullying is the worst! You're Personally, annoying. I think bullying is because of lousy parenting. <laughs> it's all the parents' fault. They should do a better job raising their kids. More important, why are you even here? Uh, I figured I'd give you guys a prize for surviving the class trial. Huh? A prize? Rise and shine! Hey, time. gang, gang! It's the gang. Oh wait, what about the other guy? Mono kid. Rise and shine! Oh, not the whole gang. Um, um, the reward, right? Hmm. We brought it. Yep. So I'll just give it to you then. Huh? Huh? My kids seem a little under the weather. Well, even so, they're still freaking adorable. Are you, you being bullied? That's um. I knew it. I knew it. And I understand from experience. Huh? From experience, Himiko, were you a victim of bullying in the past? Is that why your heart is broken and you can't express real emotions anymore? You're the worst, ah! the worst! Use your magic to turn the human rejects who bullied you into misshapen wretches! Stop it. I don't use my magic for stuff like that. And don't just make up my backstory. Huh? Huh? Hold on, the Monocubs. Bully each other? What? No way! The Monocubs should always get along! Oh hey, little... you kids play nice together, right? I'm not a lousy parent, am I? Even if you do bully each other real bad, it's not because I'm a bad dad, right? We are all we all get, get along, always. Huh? Oh, yes, we do. Right. See, my children are good kids. They would never bully each other. Why you? Bullying will never stop because of people like you. Oh, well. Well, I think the threatening vibe we Monocubs give off is perfect. And that's Because we're a team of scary badasses who are going to drag you down to hell. <laughs> Such adorable little badasses. Got it? Anyway, we're gonna hand out the rewards you've all been waiting for. Alright, what do we get? Money? Power? Listen up, because we got these here fabulous, nonsensical prizes for you. Alright, I'm gonna sip on this while you tell us. Dragon Is that an ocarina? An ocarina Bro, I want an ocarina. Passport, and a hexagonal crank from uh, some zombie game. Cool. These prizes all come in a bundle. Wow! What a bunch of random junk! Bravo! <laughs> Bravo! That shit sucks! Yay! I don't get why these are prizes, but aren't they lovely anyway? I'd rather have Mono Kid's head. Like, can I have that? Can I just hang it in my room all bloody and shit? What? What's all this crap? What are we supposed to do with this? To tell you the truth. Honestly, I'm not sure. Maybe there's a way to use them without knowing what they're for? Who cares? Just put your best foot forward. It's easier to move forward than backward. How nice. No. Don't get inspired by him, Gonta. Yeah. Anyway, that's the situation, so just do your best however you please. Oh, later, gang. Oh, the gang didn't leave? Let's, Let's go. go. What? You're gonna get payback for all the bullying by attacking us in our secret weak point. <laughs> secret weak point? You mean... The nape of our necks? Not that. Anything but that. Actually. Wait, so the nape of your necks is your weak point? I, I would never do that. I just want to get along. Yeah? What? Get along? 
Really? You stupid. Don't let him fool you. He killed Mono Kid, remember? So uh, let it gang gang! <laughs> Except Mono Kid, rest in peace. Hmm. Huh. Seeing that robot looking one get left out makes me think of Kibo. Huh? Am I really excluded? Hey. So, what should we do with this junk? Could it be? Maybe we need to use these on those mysterious things all over the campus? However. And what'll happen when we do? Uh... Um, I'm not sure. See? Well, we'll know once we try. I'll take the junk then. Nah. Now, nah, let's leave this to Poichi. Huh? What? Me? Hey! You're the ultimate detective, yeah? You should be good at weirdo puzzles like this. Got it. So I'm gonna leave it to you. Uh, okay. okay. I'll try. Man. Man, whatevs. I guess that's fine. So, I need to go around the academy and figure out what these mysterious objects are for. All right, let's get going. What? Okay, everybody's just gonna leave me to do it just because I'm the ultimate detective? Bro, this shit the ultimate slap in the face. They're making me do the bitch work. Oh, here we go. Okay, I see something. It is the ancient passport. Yeah, buddy. Okay, that was just a coinky thing that I found that. So every time we put an object in, it's gonna unlock a secret passage. All right, the wall came down? Was it because of my... Shut your no. ass up. Always taking credit. She's like the person in the group that doesn't do shit. But it's like, did I do that? Oh, uh, no. I used an item on this object then. It's it was my magic. Uh, I hate you. Uh, I hate you so much. Like, you are solidifying yourself as the worst character I've ever seen in this game. game. The door is different from the others. It might be an ultimate research lab. From the look of it, I guess it's the ultimate magician's lab. Oh, great. Yeah, see? So maybe she can take credit. Ooh. Oh la la! Okay, 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 I'm liking this! As I suspected, it's full of stuff related to magic tricks. <laughs> Whose research lab is this? If it's supposed to be mine, then there should be magical items. Hey. Right? Uh, um... Right? Why are you asking me? Yeah, why are you asking me? I don't know shit. I'm just the ultimate detective after all. Let's check the saw. What a huge saw! Hey! This room can't be locked! So, we don't just have to worry about the tricks being stolen. Samugi didn't finish her sentence, but I knew what she was trying to say. It's not that I'm thinking the killings are gonna happen again, but... Uh, okay. Right. I can really feel it now, just how bizarre the situation is. It is pretty bizarre, but I like it. Uh, what is um... this? It's a huge cauldron, like one a witch would be stirring in a children's book. You. Don't go touching whatever you want. That pot is collecting mana. Huh? Mana? Hmm. Don't you know? It's a necessary energy source for magic. I see. Oh, I see. You mean like ether or life force? Hmm. Hmm. The names are different depending on the school of magic, but I call it mana. This place is filled with mana. It's perfect for me. Hmm. Is that so? Okay, am I not supposed to be here? Oh, I'm, I'll investigate here. Okay. Sword stabbing box. Do a little stabby stabby. Uh, um... What's this? That's the magic trick where the person in the box is stabbed by swords, but comes out fine. No. It's not a trick. That's one of the space-type spells. Huh? Space-type? <laughs> oh, that sounds like high-ranking magic. That's right. Exactly. You need a lot of skill for space-type spells. No average mage can handle them. Uh... Uh... So in other words, uh... you couldn't just be a mage, you'd have to be a sage. You'd need the words of wisdom for that. Sumugi was somehow able to follow all that. This is a guillotine, right? I know it's just for a magic trick, but it still kind of creeps me out. That shit's super creepy. What else can we look at? Is that it? We good? We poochie out here? I'll investigate here a little more. But why? Do I gotta talk to her? Uh, they mixed up magic tricks and real magic, but this is a pretty thorough collection. Hey! It seems like there are labs for everyone, but why prepare so many? What is this place? Uh Monokuma said that this ultimate academy for gifted juveniles was made for the 16 of us. Hmm. Is that really true? <laughs> hey, the rooms in the dorms have locks, but this research lab doesn't. Okay. Ah, uh, looks like they're not private. Are you okay? Are you okay with that, Himiko? Your magic tricks might get stolen. Hmm. You need skills to perform magic tricks. Knowing how they work isn't enough. It's magic. But I use real magic, not magic tricks. She's not gonna budge an inch on that point. Okay. Oh, I can leave now. 
Okay, so I'm assuming the other three items are connected to other people's research labs. We just gotta look on the walls and see where we can put these items into. Okay, so these people are standing around here, so there's gotta be something here, huh? Right? Right? Am I getting warmer? I feel like I am. Oh, there you go, the ball! Put that ball in that freaking dragon eye. Yes! Okay. While this cutscene plays... No, I don't have any more drink! I don't have any more special drink. It's okay. Oh, part of the wall is gone. Oh. Whoa, that's so cool. We can get past this wall now? All right then, charge! I'm assuming oh. it's his research lab. Wait, charging in is dangerous. Um, Kurumi, what's wrong? No. Nothing, but I feel stagnant air drifting from this damaged wall. As if no one has set foot beyond this point for quite some time. Huh? Nobody's been here for a long time? Exactly how long is a long time? It's a long ass time, my dude. A long ass time, my G. Come on. A long time is a long, long time. This looked like the evil liar right. supreme leader's lab. All right, let's go inside. It's got to be Kokichi's. Because I'm assuming that Gonta is, is just like a giant bug. What the, f the hell is this? This room gives off an antique vibe. Looks creepy. It seems as if These are Victorian. These decorations adorn the British Empire at the peak of Queen Victoria's reign. Yeah. Oh, this must be my research lab. Oh, okay, okay, okay. During the Victorian era, employing a maid was considered a status symbol. If I remember Speaking correctly. of the Victorian era, Jack the Ripper was from that time, correct? That is correct. Ever the detective, I see. Jack the Ripper. So, this is the ultimate maid's lab. It does seem to be perfectly suited for Kurumi. I was uh, watching like a documentary about Jack the Ripper. That shit was boring as hell. There's a doll at the dining table. Perhaps a family dinner? That is. This is my research lab. Then I presume these figures represent those I must serve. Yeah, then what the hell are you doing here, Cory Kenshin Kyo? Excellent. Uh, Victorian. This room is quite tasteful. <laughs> I don't dislike gothic style such as this. Ah, hmm. uh, yeah, me too. I see. This appears to be Kurumi's research lab. Being in here brings a tale to my mind. Kori Kenshin Kiyo closed his eyes and spoke as if in a trance. Yes. The era's 19th century England. A gentleman who pledged his loyalty to the queen and a modest but beautiful maid. The story of a love that blooms between the light and darkness of social classes. Hey, that sounds like the plot of a manga for girls. Is that so? Then, are you saying I am like some young, love-struck girl? <laughs> so that is how I am reflected in your eyes. Fascinating. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. So I'm just gonna slowly walk away. I'll investigate around here a little more. Okay, let's talk to you, Kurumi. Yes. In the Victorian era, many servants lived beneath the manors in which they were employed. They were known as the downstairs people as a stark reminder of their lower station. If somebody called me a downstairs people, punch them right in the freaking face, downstairs people? Can't come up with a more creative nickname than that? Um, what are we looking for? Can I leave? I'll investigate around here a little more. Just a little bit though? Just a little bit you say? I wonder if there's a bunch of maid uniforms in this closet. That's what I was looking for. Okay, it looked like just a generic wall. Instead, there were a bunch of laundry machines, vacuums, and pressure washers. That is. These appliances will prove most useful when I perform my cleaning. Huh? Cleaning? You mean the school? Kurumi, you don't have to do that. I do not agree. I do not mind. To serve others is a maid's duty. Selfless devotion is the principle by which I perform my responsibilities as a maid. I can cast aside my personal feelings for the sake of serving everyone. Hmm. I suppose that's what makes you the ultimate maid. Most people wouldn't do that. Please let me know if you have a request. Given our situation, I will not take monetary payment. I will grant I will do anything you ask. Anything? It's kind of intimidating if you say it like that. And plus, I can't pay you anyway, so you are going to have to do it for free. There are a lot of washing machines in here. Yeah, very observant, ultimate detective. Yes, I'm leaving now. Okay, so I got it now. So the last two things that I got to do with these objects, it's going to be around people like like there. Okay, watch this. It's going to be the ocarina. I'm channeling that energy. Oh, no, it's the crank thing, huh? What is this? A treasure chest? Yahoo! Yahoo! 
We found a treasure chest. Why don't you open it, Puichi? Huh? Really? I should open it? Uh, yep. I believe this treasure chest is saying you should open it, Puichi. I'm getting the sense that she thinks it's dangerous and wants me to open it. Hmm. All right, fine. With sweaty palms, I cautiously open the chest and... What? Huh? What is this? A flashlight? No, it can't be just a flashlight. Maybe try turning it on? Hey! No, that's too dangerous. We should inspect it. Huh? Huh? It'll be okay. Even the flashlight is saying, turn me on. Turn me on! Hurry up and turn me on, Shuichi. It's begging you. Then... Uh, if you're so eager, why don't you flip the switch, Angie? Well then. Then I'll meet you halfway and inspect this flashlight myself. Huh? Meeting me halfway, huh? Bayonara! Once you understand, I'll come teach you. Bayonara! I like that. Bayonara. Little half English, half Japanese hybrid. Angie snatched the flashlight from me and ran off with a bounce in her stuff. But... Wait, inspect it? How? Oh, she's gonna turn it on. She was saying, turn me on! Uh, turn me on, would you please turn me on? Now, this is a strange door. This is hmm. Gonza's lab. Definitely. Oh! I can go in here? What in the world? I did not know that I can go in here. Listen, my guy, Gonza! Uh. Whoa! Look at all those bugs! Insect specimens lined the entire wall. It was a little, no, very gross. Amazing. Amazing. This paradise. I suppose I should keep my opinion to myself for now. Yeah, you should. Oh, he's gonna beat that ass. There are a lot of books here. They all seem to be related to insects. Boo. Boo, insects, boo. Amazing. Amazing. Gone to wonder how many bugs there are. Gone to so excited to get his own special room. Hmm. Who make this room anyway? Gonta need to say thank you. Huh? Uh, I suppose it was Monokuma and the Monocubs. Gang, gang. Huh? What? No way, Monokuma. Yeah. But no person who likes bug can be bad person. Gonta sad. Yeah, me sad too. Me leave. No, I investigate. Me not leave. Me investigate. So let's see. Let's see Um, the bug cage. Wow. That is an extraordinary amount of bug cages. Mm. Oh. Lots of larvae and eggs, and they're even sleeping in cool place. Uh, um, they were refrigerated? But it's okay. Eggs probably had you gone to take good care of them. Well, well, do your best then. Yeah, do your best. What are you gonna do? Sit on them? If all these hatch, there'll be bugs all over the academy. Releasing all these bugs in a new world. It's like that Bible story. Noah's Ark. If I remember correctly, the world was destroyed by a great flood, and humans and animals began... Perhaps that's a little too dramatic. Yeah, you too dramatic, dude. You way too over the top. What am I looking at now? Can I leave? Oh, I can leave. Okay, so that's all we needed to investigate, but I still have two things that I need to use these objects on, so we gotta find it. What is that? Who is that? Hey. Hey, hold on. How come I can't? It's like moving up. The heck? What the? Yo, my mouse is like doing its own thing. It's possessed. Bro, I can't click on this little bitch. Oh my god! I feel like the game is messing with me. Okay, you know what? Forget about that bitch. <laughs> um, what's this? From the look of this, this must be an ultimate research lab. I have no idea what kind though. I should take a look inside. As I reach my hand to the doorknob... Stop it. I did not give you permission to enter. Huh? Uh, Maki? So this is the ultimate child caregiver's lab. You wouldn't think so, judging by the door. That's true. You're right. Goodbye. Ah. Wait! Can I look inside for a bit? No. Huh? What? But there's no rule against people going into each other's labs. I don't know. I don't care about the rules. I'm not letting anyone inside. Huh? What's going on? Hey! Hey, what's going on? You guys aren't in the middle of a tiff now, are you? <sighs> See? Thanks to you, an annoying brat has showed up. Because? You hear that, Suichi? An annoying brat has showed up all because of you. Uh, okay. Yeah. So? So what's up? You don't want anyone to enter your lab, Maki? Don't be so pushy, Shuichi. It's not good to do stuff that'll make a girl upset, you know? Uh, uh, uh okay. I understand. Then? Good. Then stay away. If you try to go inside, it would be extremely painful. For you. For uh, you. Hey, oh. She's not messing around. She's guarding that door with her life, bro. I guess I'll check the ultimate tennis player's lab because I have nowhere else to go. I don't know what you want me to do. This is sick, though. Why is Mew here? An entire indoor tennis court. This is impressive. Um, 
This is your lab, right, Ryoma? Must be nice having a whole tennis court here. <laughs> huh. I don't care. I have nothing to do with tennis anymore. Nothing to do with tennis? Hey! Ryoma, are you really not gonna play tennis anymore? What was that? Tennis? Who the hell plays a hoity-toity sport like tennis? Sure! Oh, that's right. I totally forgot. You're a tennis player, aren't you? I threw away my It's past. fine if you forget. That was a long time ago. <laughs> so when you killed a mafia with your badass tennis skills, was that a long time ago, too? Wait! Hey, come on, Mew! What was that? What? It really happened, yeah? No. Yeah, it's true. Thanks to that, even if I escape from here, I'll just go straight to a different prison. Huh, <laughs> so it'd be meaningless for someone like me to play tennis now. Then why are you staring at that tennis court with such sad eyes, Ryoma? Are you a little bitch? Because you're acting like a little bitch right now. Yeah, Ryoma, you little bitch. What's with the stare down? You're scaring me. I don't know, I guess it's because you called Ryoma a little bitch. What is door to hallway? Oh, investigate a little more? All right, you got it, bud. Tennis net. Check that nice net out. A tennis net. It's stretched tight and looks sturdy. That's it? Why do I gotta observe stuff if I'm just gonna say bullshit like that, man? Ryoma, let's talk to Mew. Hey! Oh, now this is an interesting machine. Uh, um... An interesting machine? You mean the one swinging the racket? <laughs> With a few mods, this bad boy will look real good. Yeah, my creative juices are flowing. <laughs> Big metal arm. <laughs> Coming from her, it has to be inappropriate. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, that's what she wants that for. Okay, okay, let's just move past that because that's disgusting. Is there a closet or something in the back? There's a shower room in the back. <laughs> a shower room? Why don't you boys go in and give each other a good scrub down? You're already the perfect height, Ryoma. <laughs> You'll be lined up just right when you... <laughs> what the hell? I was just what? kidding. I thought you'd laugh. Well, it was funny. I thought it was funny, to be honest. Can I leave? Yep. All right. So I'm thinking that in one of these rooms, obviously somebody's going to die. So that's why we're getting to know all these rooms. Because once we figure out how they died, we can kind of get a sense for who did it. And the camera just died. But I'm back. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully y'all didn't miss me too much. I need to figure out what I need to use the crank and the ocarina for. So your boy got to figure it out right now. Hmm, that's strange. There are fewer plants around here. Some places are being renovated as well. Not that strange about that. They did say it was under construction. I suppose construction is still going on. But where exactly is this academy built anyway? No one has come to save us. It must be someplace remote. But where could you build a complex this large in secret? That is true. It's like covered, like a bubble dome. Like from that episode of Spongebob. You know when they sing in the bubble bowl? Is this it? This is it. Okay, here we go. Crank that bitch. Yeah, buddy. What does that say? Raul virtual Raul. It's all scribbles. It's all mumbo jumbo. I couldn't read that. Uh, I don't want to talk to you. I just want to go in the door. Oh my god, this place looks cool. What does that say? Kuma Sutra? Yo, what are we doing over there? Yo, we about to get freaky? Rest 25, overnight 45. What is this building? I'm not sure I like the implication. I like it. Hey, speak for yourself, Puichi. Speak for yourself. Give me that cap. I'll hide my identity. I'll go in there a little baby. Man, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm never opposed to a good time. 45 at night? Shit, you feel me? What is this place? Is this like a casino? Rise and shine! Hey, gang, gang! But not Mono Kid, though. <laughs> Why, hello, bear. Um, this place is not like a casino. It is a casino. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this place is a casino. Um, you can earn lots of mono coins and exchange them for fabulous prizes. Woohoo! Yup, yup, you sure can. <laughs> that was wonderfully amateurish, Mono Dam. It had a flavor not even father could match. That's right. In a sense, You've surpassed daddy. Okay. Which makes you a grandpa monodam. Grandpa monodam. So long. Oh, later. later. Gang, gang. Later, gang, gang. Rest in peace, mono kid. A casino? Why is a casino in a place like this? Welcome, welcome. At the casino, you can use special casino coins to play various games. You can exchange mono coins for coins at the cashier. I don't think that we need to know this any longer. That door I can see over there must lead somewhere into the school. Where could it lead? What? Never mind. The heck? 
Okay. Is that not it? Bro, please tell me it's somewhere here. Where the hell? Yo. Hey, can somebody please help me? Can somebody please get this kid a Happy Meal? Where do I use this damn ocarina, dude? Hold on, let me talk to... Uh, oh, there, Mysterious Monument. Come on, man, stop playing with me, dude. That's how we get rid of these freaking little plants. You can't just use the, your hands, you know? That's why we have them. Shit, if you don't have hands, use your feet. The vine suddenly withered. Hmm? The ivy withered in seconds. What remarkable technology. Ah, huh? oh, we can get in. We can go in from there, right? Um, you intend to go inside? That course of accident seems dangerous. You know what? I'll do it. Rise and shine! Oh, your sign. Gang, gang! No! No, it's not dangerous. There's just a pool in there. Huh? Pool? Okay. Yeah, this is a pool. Schools and pools are inseparable. That's right. 24 hour convenience stores and blonde hooligans are also inseparable. That's wonderful. Wonderful explanation. Eh? Huh? Thank you. Are you stupid? Uh, I don't know why being praised by the guy who killed our bro makes you so happy. So long. Later, gang gang. Besides Mono Kid. I miss Mono Kid. Um. What should we do? There may be a pool, but we're not going in for a swim, are we? But, but if it's not dangerous, then maybe we should take a look. It is never bad to have too much info. You're right. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Sometimes it's bad to have too much info because you might get a headache from just absorbing too much stuff. But this pool does look like a pretty snazzy pool. I ain't even gonna lie to you. This doesn't look like a normal school pool. More like a pool at a resort. There isn't that much water in it. Aren't pools usually filled up more? Yeah, that pool sucks. Whoa! I've always dreamed of swimming in a fancy pool like some big shot celebrity. Um, Too bad I don't know how to swim. Then I suppose that dream is pretty far away. Hmm. It's not necessarily a dream of mine, but swimming with everyone does sound fun. If I tried to swim, I would just sink. And that one is even farther. Okay, well, let's see what this pool has to offer. This doesn't look like a normal school pool. More like a pool at a resort. Who just said that? Okay, what is that storage room door? Uh, this um, looks like a storage room? Hmm. I peeked inside and discovered all manner of pool supplies in there. It is fully stocked with kickboards, water polo balls, and even sturdy rubber inner tubes. By the way, perhaps I can float in water if I inflate them and attach them all over my body. <laughs> <laughs> I think you would look like that tire company's mascot. The wacky inflatable flailing man or whatever the hell that's called? Diving board. Bro, I'd be scared as shit to dive off that. It's a large diving board. This is also something you would find at a resort. I would never jump off something like that. Not even for a million bucks. And I'm not even lying Listen either. Up. If there's a fancy pool here, then there must be swimsuits here too. Okay, maybe for huh? a million bucks. Huh? Are you positive? Yes. Of course. There'd be no point having this pool here otherwise. Well, well I suppose that's true, but... Um... So where are the swimsuits? I only saw extra school uniforms back at the dorm. That's true. All the closets seem to contain is spare uniforms. Hmm. If there were any swimsuits... I suppose they'd be in the warehouse. What? How scandalous! They're in a place that degenerate males have easy access to! Uh, um... I don't really think that's a problem. <gasps> oh, I get it. You're the worst! Degenerates the only care about used swimsuits or ones that girls are wearing, don't they? If that's the case, then the swimsuits in the warehouse are definitely safe. Kibo, I was wondering if you fell off a boat and sank to the bottom, <laughs> would you be stuck living under the sea, beneath a rock, or in a pineapple? What? No. No, I believe that before you'd get too deep, your body would be crushed by the pressure. Please stop! Please don't say such scary things! Both of you! Or I'll never set foot on a boat! Some pool rules are posted here. There's one that I find peculiar. So swimming is prohibited at nighttime? Rise and shine, oh, gang sign. gang! I think that's a clue about how the next person's gonna die. That's what I think, as that's a Dongan right. Robo veteran. That's right! No one's allowed to swim during nighttime. Actually, it'd be terrible if someone died due to an unfortunate nighttime swimming accident. And that's that. We need you to die in the killing game. So, you can visit the pool at nighttime, but even in touching the water is against the rules. Oh, I guess I'll add it to the existing regulations just in case. School regulations have been updated. Hmm. Uh, anyway, why is the pool's water level so low? It's barely enough to swim. What are you saying? What the hell are you saying? You get gaping holes instead of eyes or something? That's right. There's enough water to swim. It only looks shallow because the pool is so deep. Um, and someone would be more likely to drown if we filled it up all the way. And that's that. So that's that. 
They put a lot of thought into some strange things. That's wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful explanation, explanation, everyone. Huh? What? Really? Oh, I'm so happy to hear you say that. <laughs> you stupid. Did you forget that he killed Mono Kid? You should hate his guts. <laughs> Screw Mono Kid. I always hated him. Okay. He was violent, vulgar, rude to shop clerks, and had a soft spot for abandoned kitties. Hey. Why did that sound like praise near the end? So long. Farewell. Later, gang gang. So no swimming at night time. There are also some specifications written here. The pool is 82 feet in length and 39 feet wide. The pool side is 13 feet on each end, and the left and right sides are 8 feet each. Okay, well, I'm out of here. There's still something bothering me. What? The hell is bothering your ass, gym window? That window must be the gym's window. It looks like the one that was in the gym. I suppose that means the gym and the pool are connected. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's pretty standard for a school to have the gym and the pool area near each other. Right. But I think the pool can be moved to a much larger area. There's plenty of land in the courtyard. What about there? Uh, I um... don't know. I don't know. But maybe somebody's going to sneak in here and kill somebody. There's still something bothering me. What the hell is bothering your ass, dude? School building window. That? The window must be one of the school buildings. I remember all the windows being sealed off, but... This window in particular looks like a normal window. What room does it belong to? <gasps> Grr, anyone could peep through that window. Huh? Peep? Who would do that? Um... I heard degenerate males get more turned on by girls in swimsuits than by girls who are naked. Mm -hmm. And they go bonkers over the bloomers we wear over our panties that we wear over our privates. Degenerate males! What are girls supposed to do against the filthy desires of degenerate males? No. Uh, I think you may be overreacting a little. <gasps> oh, Kibo! Are you a degenerate male or a girl? Which is it? Hmm. Good question. I've honestly never thought about it before. Huh? Really? How interesting. I suppose I did just assume he was a he. But Kibo is a robot, so... Yeah, never assume. I suppose this is all for the pool area. I still have other places to investigate. Do I? I got more places to investigate? Boy, I've been wandering around for an hour. Okay, but you know what? My theory is... Yeah. Yahoo! Found you, Shuichi. I'll tell you in a second. I didn't know you were here. I've been looking for you everywhere. Huh? Oh, Angie, did you find out anything about the flashlight? Uh... Yep, I finally figured it out. It seems like Atua wants us to gather in the gym for an explanation. Bayonara. You don't have time to relax now. Bayonara! Okay, so I think the next person is going to die. Yeah, let's go to the gym. Oh, I teleport to the gym. Thank you. So I think the next person, actually, I didn't even get teleported. What the hell? So I think the next person is going to die by falling through that window all the way to the bottom of the pool. And that's how they die. Watch me be right. Yeah, I really believe that's how the next person is going to go. They're going to fall through that window or someone's going to push them through that window by using Everyone. some of the other items that we found in the other ultimate research labs. And they're going to die in the pool. I'm calling it right now. Everyone, gather around. Rare time. We all here? Good. Then let's bow our heads and pray to Atua. Bitch! You're a real pain in the ass, you know that? Just tell us what you freaking want. You see? Alrighty then, check this out. What's the matter? D that is a peculiar looking flashlight. So, what of it? Uh... Um, I don't know what it is either. I inspected it pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> but in the end, I couldn't figure it out. Huh? You couldn't? How do you So I asked someone for help. Could it be? You don't mean... Monokuma? Yeah, buddy. Leave it to if Monokuma. something as you worried, just let Monokuma take care of it. If you don't know something, I'll tell you. If you need help, I'll help you. No if you don't way. like something, I'll fix it. So don't get rid of it. Please don't get rid of me. Very bad when lady who act like that preys on you. What? Huh? Do you know that from a personal experience? Yoo-hoo! Tell us, Monokuma. What is this flashlight? Yeah? Why, that's a flashback light. Oh. Flashback light. Huh? Flashback? My, my. Light? Hey, um... That flashlight doesn't shed light on darkness. It sheds light on your lost memories. Hey. That's actually a cool-ass flashlight, then. Lost memories? Yeah. yeah. You guys seem concerned that you couldn't remember how you came to this school. <laughs> but if you use that flashback light, you can remember everything. Huh? What? With this light? Yeah. <sighs> So it's your fault we don't remember when we were kidnapped, huh? May I? What did you do to us? And how did you steal our memories away? And another huh. thing. Maybe if you use the flashback light, you'll be able to remember that too. This is 
stupid. I don't believe it. No way this flashlight will recover our memories. Yeah. I yeah. bet there were a lot of naysayers and skeptics when the telephone was invented, too. Hey. Um... For your information, the flashback light can treat various symptoms of memory loss. The light it emits stimulates the basal ganagula and hippocampus. Not just that, but physical. Yeah. Whew. I didn't realize how boring it would be to explain. Basically, it works like that. I have no idea what he just said, but I am aroused. Hey, don't just give up on explaining after a single sentence. What should we do? So what should we do? Um... What should we do? You mean, should we or should we not use the flashlight? No. No way. I refuse. It reeks of fishiness. Mm. Yeah, Gontano can believe flashlight can bring back memory. Well... Well, why not ask someone who knows machines? We've got the ultimate inventor right here. Aww. You're all a bunch of ultimate dumbasses. No freaking way that thing can treat amnesia. Then again, these aren't exactly normal circumstances. Well, so in such an uncanny environment as this, common sense has no place. Uh... Well, I mean, there are these neuralizer things, the flashy things from Men in Black. Well... Why are you talking about a movie? This is real life. I guess. You're right. Sorry. I wish I had one of those neuralizer things sometimes. I don't like I that. I don't think we should do it. I'd use it on myself because I've seen some shit. I'm scared it might cause some weird side effects. <sighs> yeah. I'm worried how it will affect my magic. Like some of the submissions I've seen for the trying to make me laugh. I wish I could just neuralize myself. I've seen you. some shit. Has everyone spoken? If we're in accord, I will consent as well. Yeah. What about you, Shuichi? You have not said anything yet. Huh? What? Uh, I... All right. All right, that is decided. Let's use it. What? Huh? Who decided that? We were all saying how dangerous it sounds. Jeez. Jeez, you guys are way too cautious. I mean, I understand why. We're in such a weird situation after all. But you know. But we can't win by just running away all the time. What? Listen up. If you want to win, you've got to be a little reckless sometimes. If we can't face this danger, there's no way we'll be able to defeat Monokuma. <laughs> Well, aren't you competent? But you've no idea how we're supposed to win, do you? Ah. Yeah, I've got no clue. But still, Let's do it. if you want to win, you got to make a stand somewhere. You'll never move forward. If we run away, our kids will grow up to be the kind of people who run away from things like this. I don't understand. Huh? What are you talking about? You know. If you still want to run away, then go ahead. I won't stop you or blame you. Okay. Okay, fine. Then let's go. Mm -hmm. Huh? What's wrong, everyone? Aren't we going? Um, I'm staying. Listen up. After hearing that degenerate speech, running away would just frustrate me. Mm. Gonta also stay is what true gentlemen would probably do. 100%. I also agree with Kaito. Our defeat is 100% assured unless we stand up to this. That's how I feel deep inside. Just a whisper. <laughs> you hear it in your ghost? I'm pretty sure robots don't have ghosts, though. That is not Leave funny. me alone. <laughs> I shall stay as well. I suspect I will be able to observe something most interesting. On your knees! If anything happens to me, y'all better beg my fans, the world, and humanity for forgiveness! Hey! So what are you gonna do, Shuichi? Uh, okay. I... I'll stay behind too. Got it. Alright! Right? I'll stay too. So what if it might cause some weird side effects? That's no big deal! It seems... It seems it. everyone agrees with Kaito. Very well. I shall follow suit. <laughs> Huh. Now it's decided. Hurry up and do it. Woohoo! Then I'm gonna turn it on. Yeah. Yeah, please. Click. Click. At the moment that Angie flicked on the light, the world warped. What the? A lightning bolt in my mind shattered my consciousness like shrapnel. Like a video in Fast Forward, scenes played out in the back of my head. When the pieces of my psyche had gathered together again. I remember. I remember now. You're being chased by an angry mob? I was running away. I had been running this entire time. From the ultimate hunt. Those of us with ultimate talents were hunted down. I wasn't safe anywhere. Eventually, I had no place to run. 
I was cornered, and to escape from the ultimate hunt, I threw away my ultimate talent to live as a normal high school student. How do you just throw away your ultimate talent? By erasing my talent and my memories, I no longer had any reason to be hunted. If I didn't do what I did, I would have been captured, a fate worse than death. And so I chose. I chose to gamble on a new technology developed in a particular facility. Technology that could put your memories to sleep by controlling your brainwaves. I used that to hibernate all my memories relating to my talent. Isn't that the same thing they used in Danganronpa 2? That's it! Yes, I remember everything now! In order to escape the ultimate hunt, I erased my own memory! Hold up! Wait, did you say ultimate hunt? Huh? Huh? Really? You guys too? So it wasn't just me getting chased down in this ultimate hunt. I do not agree. Yes, you are not the only one. I, no, we were being chased as well. Didn't Ron Taro say something about the ultimate hunt? Wasn't he like, does the ultimate hunt sound familiar to you? So were his memories coming back to him faster than everybody else? Or did he not get his uh, memories wiped? I don't know. We looked around at one another, each of us with the same shocked expression. What Kurumi said was true. We were all the same. We were all running from the ultimate hunt. In other words... All of us here were being chased by the ultimate hunt. What on earth does that mean? Um... Oh wait, can someone tell me what that is? I can't seem to remember. What is the ultimate hunt? Jeez. Jeez, how could you forget something so important? All right, guys, the ultimate hunt is... What? Huh? What was it? Wait, why can't I remember? Uh, um... I can't either. I suddenly realized. I could not remember any important details of the ultimate hunt. But how? It's no use. I can't remember either. I can only remember being chased. I can't remember anything else at all. Yeah, no matter how hard I try. I can't seem to remember. I don't want to live. I want to die with everyone else. You don't mean that. Come on, Puichi. Don't say things like that. Ah! What was that? I want to die with everyone else? I remember saying that, but why did I say it? Uh... Um, it's no use. I can't remember either. God damn ah, it. Ah, this feels gross. Like a shit that won't fully squeeze out. However... Even if we can't remember, we should still be able to figure something out. Huh? Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> if we were all running from the ultimate hunt, then why are we imprisoned here? Why? Huh? Why? Could it be... Could the reason be that we were caught by the ultimate hunt? Caught by the ultimate hunt? Um... You mean we tried to escape by erasing our memories, but they found us anyway? And subsequently, we were captured as part of this ultimate hunt? You know... Then this killing game is... Yeah. Yeah, it might be the work of the ultimate hunt. Let's see. If that is so, then I am all the more concerned about this ultimate hunt. But, but... But how disappointing. No one can remember anything. <laughs> <laughs> what a disappointing disappointment. Piece of shit! Quit laughing about this, you little shit! It seems, it seems losing it. him made a far bigger impact than we expected. Huh? Him? Yes. Rantaro. He seemed to know more than he let on. Yep, just as I said. Hey, I have a question. This might sound a little weird, but... Does the term ultimate hunt ring a bell for anyone? Oh, oh I do sort of remember him saying something like that. Hmm. hmm. Our mild-mannered mystery man said that, huh? But... But then... Why did only Rontaro remember the ultimate hunt? Listen, there is no point discussing that now. After all, he is already dead. <laughs> but if you truly wish to hear his words, I could perform a seance for you. Don't screw around. Stop it! Don't bring up weird stuff like that! Why are you acting girly all of a sudden? Too bad. Yep, death can be real heartless. Why you? Says the root of all evil. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you guys safely got your memory back. What the hell's going on, you stupid-ass bear? This ultimate hunt makes no goddamn sense! Yeah. Looks like your sealed memories are more stubborn than I thought. Just one use of the flashback light wasn't enough to restore all of your memories. You got me! You're such a terrible liar. You totally did that on purpose. Well... What connection do you have with the ultimate hunt? <laughs> <laughs> I can't reveal that! Regardless of my true identity, my goal is crystal clear. Yahoo! And that is to make you guys participate in the killing game. 
That is my only desire. The killing game. That's what it always comes back to. You gotta be kidding me! What? Killing game? I'll never do that ever again! That's right. We just gotta work together. If we cooperate, we'll make it out of here alive. <laughs> just like a certain someone said. Kaiden. But... But I believe cooperating with each other is the most logical course of action. Uh, I'm snoring. Hi. Why are you sleeping? Whoa. Whoa. Huh? What? Jeez. Hey, Kokichi, we're having a serious conversation here. Mm. And is it written somewhere that I have to take serious conversations seriously? <laughs> Quit acting so immature. Mm -hmm. Huh? I'm a teenager, so duh, I'm immature. Aren't you guys forgetting to act your age? What is it? But I don't have a biological age. Don't worry about it, Kibo. I'm just talking to the humans right now. <laughs> so? What were we talking about again? Something about working together to escape, right? Mm -hmm. So you were listening, you horrible degenerate. See? We don't have to work together, though. Let's just ask how we can get out. What's the point? If we ask Monokuma, he'll say the only way is to win the killing game. We really don't Oh, care. we're not going to ask Monokuma. We're going to ask the mastermind among us. Huh? What? Why, you... Are you already going senile? I thought we agreed that there is no mastermind. Hmm. Uh, oh yeah, we did, didn't we? If we tried to sniff out a mastermind again, we'd just repeat Kaede's screw-up. You'd better quit messing you... around. Huh? Eh? You think I'm messing around right now? Oh, oh man. man, you really don't get it. I'm trying to get this through to everyone. If you keep saying all this uplifting stuff about working together on cooperating, <laughs> then you can expect to receive some painful retaliation. Get it? Wait! What are you suggesting, Kokichi? That's enough! Oh, that's enough! I'm gonna slug him! Whoa! Wow! He's gonna punch me! I gotta make a break for it! Oh, he's actually leaving. Kokichi said his piece and then dashed as fast as he could out the room. <laughs> Damn, he's fast. Sheesh. Jeez, what a strange guy. Jeez. He just provokes people and never says anything from the heart. He's always messing around and making fun of those around him. Huh! Huh! How can he say such insensitive things when we're trying so hard to survive? <laughs> it's like he doesn't even want to survive. Though, I guess I'm no different. Huh? What? In other words... Yeah, I don't plan to survive to the end. Well, damn, that sucks. Hopefully you do. Just so I can laugh. Ryoma. Um... You not plan to survive? What that mean? That is... He has mentioned that before. That he has no reason to live. Yeah? He doesn't have a reason to live? But... Poor Ryoma. It seems he's got a more tragic past than we could even begin to imagine. I mean... Yeah, but the ultimate tennis pro shouldn't be saying such cowardly stuff. What do you think? Perhaps we should relax over a meal? Everyone, could you please tell me your favorite foods and beverages? Huh? Huh? You're gonna whip something up? Kirumi, are you like the perfect mom? After we finished the meal that Kirumi prepared for us, we decided to return to our rooms. All right, everybody. I think my throat has had enough talking for one episode. I do believe that I know how the next person is going to die. The thing is, obviously, I don't know who's going to be doing it and who's going to be the one getting killed. But it says there are hidden Monokumas around the Ultimate Academy. Maybe you've already seen one. You can collect hidden Monokumas by investigating them. And I will. But not right now. When what? Oh, God, I skipped it. But I suppose I won't get anywhere thinking about it myself. Time for action. All right. There are still some time left in the day. I need to think of a plan. Okay, so we got some free time. We learned a lot about some people in this episode, and we found a lot of new locations. 50,000 likes, and we are going to continue the journey of Danganronpa V3. Hopefully you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!